Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun review of this Lululemon yoga mat. And this yoga mat I recently purchased because I used to use this blue yoga mat that I just found in my garage that my mom used for a while. And it was one of those foamy ones. It was just kind of like a puff foam mat. Before we get into this video, who is your favorite fitness vlogger? If you guys come from my workout videos, then I already know some of your guys' favorites. But if you are new to my channel, I would love to know who your favorite fitness vloggers are. This specific mat is called the Reversible Mat 5mm. I think that stands for millimeter for the thickness here. If you guys are interested in getting it, I will have it linked down below. They have so many different color patterns and this one I got in just a light pink. Um, I would unroll it. Here, let me see if I can unroll this. So, I guess you could use this side, but I typically use the pink side for the front, like the part that I work out on. But it's basically just a big sheet of rubber. We have the Lululemon logo here, and then we also have the Lululemon logo on the pink side. So before we get into my opinion, I'm just going to read you guys some facts about this mat. Um, it is designed for yoga. I don't do yoga, I just do like normal exercises. But the top layer absorbs moisture to help get a grip during sweaty practices, and that's basically the key reason why I got this. I wanted something that my hands wouldn't like slip on, or my feet. <laughs> for that matter. Um, it's a natural rubber that gives you cushioning and a textured grip for low sweat practices. The antimicrobial additive helps prevent mold and mildew on the mat. Contains latex. The dimensions are 26 inches by 71 inches and the thickness is 5 millimeters. The weight is 5 pounds 24 ounces and I must say this thing's super heavy. When I first got it I was like oh my gosh this mat is like a weight in itself. It does smell a little bit and they do warn you before you purchase it. So that's a little overview of the mat. They are a little bit pricey and they do cost $78, but if you compare that to the leggings that cost $100, I mean, you're kind of getting a deal. Lululemon, I don't know why, is so expensive. I really don't understand. If you can tell me, leave it in the comments. Now I'm gonna answer the question right off the bat. Is this thing worth it? Should you invest in one? There are a lot of reviews about this that that probably aren't the most positive, but I think it's totally worth it. Um, I was looking for a good mat that I could sweat on and not slip. I was having a really hard time with the blue mat because my feet would slip and it was just not good. One time my hand slipped out from under me, it was just not a good experience. I didn't wanna invest so much money into a mat before I didn't even know if I was going to stick to working out. But I proved to myself after the few weeks that I've been working out, I'm like, yes, I'm going to continue this lifestyle. So I definitely wanted to invest in a better mat. So for my workouts and for what I do, this is the perfect mat. I also love the colors. The smell for me doesn't bother me. I actually, I know it sounds weird, but I actually kind of like the smell of rubber. It doesn't affect my workouts or anything like that. Um, Honestly, it's a really good mat. Um, I don't see any problems with it. Um, I saw online that they did say that there was peeling, but I mean, I've been using this for two weeks now. And I mean, I roll it up every day and I don't see any crazy peeling issues. Now I'm gonna get into the negatives of this mat. So depending on what colors you get, this is a really light pink. It shows your sweat, hardcore man. When you have a drip of sweat on this thing, it will show. It does absorb it, like it, it doesn't, I don't know, there's some weird thing in this mat that absorbs it super fast. So it's wet, but like your hand doesn't slip. But I don't recommend this pink color if you do sweat a lot. And if you're working out at a gym, I could kind of see how that could be embarrassing because your sweat would be all over this mat because mine certainly is. Definitely 
something to consider if you do sweat a lot maybe buy the black mat um i personally like this color and it matches a lot of my workout stuff so i chose and i was looking specifically for a pink mat and this one came up this could be a positive or a negative it's very heavy like i said it weighs five pounds because it's pretty heavy it won't move on you a whole lot is what i found i don't have a problem with this one moving a lot of you guys loved my satisfying blue mat moving when I was working out. This one doesn't move as much. Um, another thing that some people might not like is the smell. It smells of rubber, but like I said, that doesn't really bother me. And obviously if you're allergic to latex, don't buy this product. But I guess the biggest negative is that you can see your sweat stains. The rest of it, I don't really see having a big problem. Sometimes it gets folds in it. They're not visible like when the thing is stretched out. See like when it's folding there, it'll have like a little fold mark. You can't really see it. It's not like it's ripping or breaking. So overall, I really like this product. I definitely would consider getting a really good quality mat um, that will hold up for a, quite a while rather than just buying one on Amazon. So if you guys want to check out this mat, I will have it linked down below, like I said, but they have other different types of mats um, that you could choose from. And I don't know, I would just, I would check it out so you guys can see for yourself. But overall, A+, I love this Lululemon mat. I don't regret buying it whatsoever. Overall, this is a really positive review that is not sponsored by Lululemon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and answer the question of the day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.